So this is our problem number 3 for the simple connections under chapter 3 tension members. A wide flange W250 by 442 will carry a 45 kN dead load and 25 kN live load. The whole diameter is 18 mm. Okay, so take note natin to. Okay, take note. Hole diameter. Okay, hindi siya diameter uh, or bolt diameter kagaya sa problem number 1 and number 2. So, this is a hole, a hole diameter. Okay? And an A36 steel is used. Check the adequacy of this tension member. So, ibig sabihin, so check natin kung adequate ba yung ating member to carry the 45 kN dead load and 25 kN live load. Okay, so solve mo natin yung ano, effective hole diameter. So, yung ating effective hole diameter. So, since hole diameter na to, ang gagawin natin, mag add lamang tayo ng 2 millimeters. Okay? So, of course, this is ano, 18 plus 2 is 20 millimeter diameter. Okay? So, ito yung ating ano, um, white flange. So, 250 yung height. Itong 42, ano yan? Weight. Okay? Kilogram, uh, kilogram per meter yan. So, yung kanyang base, or sorry, base tuloy, kanyang flange is, or flange width is 150 millimeters. Ang thickness ng kanyang flange is 12. And ang thickness ng kanyang web is 8. So, magkaiba sila. Okay? Ayan. Hmm. Okay. Ano pa bang pwede natin gawin dito? Okay. So, ito na yan. Okay. So, pwede natin itong ano. Uh, pwede tayo mag-start ng computation. So, doon muna tayo sa ating LRFD. Then, number 1. Yielding yung ating ano um P dyan, or resistance factor is 0.90 so PN is equivalent to FY multiplied by AG so ang gawin natin dito ano uh, hati hati natin yung area okay so AG is equivalent to 200 ah sorry 150 so 150 multiplied by thickness ng uh, Plunge 12 multiplied by 2. Kasi dalawa. Okay. Plus. Okay. Hindi natin lagay. Plus. Okay. 250. 250 minus 12 times 2. Ayan. Yung height ng ating web. Okay. 226. So, 226 multiplied by thickness ng web. So, 8. So, this is 150 times 12 multiplied by 2 plus 226 multiplied by 8. So, 5408. So, kilo newton. Ayan. So, ayan. Masasob na natin yung PN natin or this uh, nominal strength for yielding. So, 836 pa rin pala. No? So, 248 multiplied by 5408 then divided by 1000. So, 1, 3. So, I think Baguhin natin ito, okay? Masyadong maliit yung ating, ano, ang ating uh, in-assume na i-carry. Masyadong malakas kasi itong wide plunge, no? So, gawin natin, ano? Um, hindi, eh. 45 kilo newton. Okay, but wait a <laughs> This is, ano, uh, this is millimeter squared. Pag ginawa kong, ano, ayan. So, gawin naman natin itong, ano, siguro... 150 Oops 150 kilo newton Ayan Then ito naman Sabihin natin ano, 50 Ayan So ilan to? 248 Okay So 131 At uh, 1341.18 So 1341.18 Kilo newton so, yung ating design um, strength under sa yielding is equivalent to 0 .9, uh, 0 0.90 times 1341.18. So, 1, 2. So, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, Okay, 0, 0, na lang. So, 0, 7 kilo newton. So, malakas. Okay? Malaki yung kaya niyang dalhin, no? So, malaki yung ano na to, wide plunge talaga. Okay? So, next... Number 2 sa fracture, yung ating ano, um, P is equivalent to 0.75. So, PN is equivalent to FU 
multiplied by AE. Okay, kasi hindi naman tayo nakaano. Hindi naman nakakonek lahat ng member ng plunge natin. Nakako, ah, sorry, ng white plunge. Ang nakakonek lang is yung dalawang plunge. Then yung kanyang web, wala. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin isolve yung kanyang X bar. So, ang, ano, ang centroids nito, isan dito. Yan. Then, ang X bar natin is ito. Okay. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, nung introduction, ang gagawin natin is hatiin natin yung area na paganyan. Okay? So, ito yung ating um, or kaya mas maganda mas maganda siguro yung hati is ito. Ayan. Okay? Then, ito naman yung isa. Okay? Kasi parang ano lang to eh, parang kinonsider na T Okay, or structural T na nakakabit or nakakonect doon sa ating gasset T. Kaya ang kinukuha lang natin dyan is yung X bar nung kalahati ng white plunge. Okay? So, solve natin yung AN. So, yung total natin is, uh, or total or gross area natin is 5408. Then, minus lahat ng butas. Okay? Ilan ba yung butas natin? Apat. Then, yung diameter niya is 20. Then, yung thickness niya is thick 12. Okay? Yan. So, ito yung ating AN. So, 5408 minus 4 times 20 times 12. So, 4448. Okay? Millimeter squared. So, solve natin yung X bar natin dyan. So, area 2, area 1, so, sa area 1 natin, ang centroids niya is kalahati ng 12. Ayan. Kalahati ng 12. Ah, sorry, X1. Then, ang X2 natin is andito. Ayan. X2. So, game. So, X1. Ayan, di natin lagay. Ah, sorry, A1 is equivalent to... Okay, so 150. Then, i-minus natin yung thickness ng web. So, 150 times uh, minus 8. So, 142 multiplied by, okay, thickness na 12. Okay. Then, ayan, yun yung area 1 natin. So, 142 times 12. So, 1704 millimeter squared. Then, X1 is equivalent to 12 over 2. Hindi ba? Which is 6 millimeters. Next, area 2 is equivalent to... Okay, kalahati nung ano, kanina, no? Ito, kalahati ng 226. Okay, kasi ito kasi, ito kasi 226 natin, eh. Ayan, ah. Ayan. Yung clear height, yung clear height ng ano, or clear depth. Okay? So, 226 divided by 2. So, 113. 113 multiplied by thickness na 8. So, 904. Millimeter is squared. Then, ang ating x sub 2 is, ano, um, okay, kasi dito yun eh, di ba? Buo to. Ano, buo siya. So, kalahati ng 250. So, 125, no? Then, kakalahatiin pa natin siya. Okay? Kasi dito yung centroids niya. Kalahati ng 250. Ah, sorry. Kalahati ng, kalahati ng 250. Okay? So, 62.5 millimeters. Okay? So, masolve natin yung X bar. So, alpha A multiplied by 6 plus alpha B multiplied by 62.5 over alpha A plus alpha B. So, um, 1704 and then 904. Ito. So, 25.58. Tama ba? Okay. So, 25.58 millimeters. So, makukuha na natin yung ating um, X bar. Okay. So, 1, ah, sorry. U, or shear lag factor pala. So, U is equivalent to 1 minus X bar over L. Ang connection natin is 100. Okay. So, 1 minus 25.58 over 100 millimeters. So, this is equivalent to 0.74. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin yung ating PN. O, dito natin lagay. So, PN 
is equivalent to K36, no? So, 400 multiplied by uh, U na 0.74 multiplied by um, A net. So, uh, 4448. So, ito yung ating nominal strength sa rupture. So, 400 times 0.74 times 4448 then divided by 1000 so 1316 0.61 tama ba? okay so kilo newton so ang ating design strength under rupture failure is okay 987.46 Kilo Newton. Yan. Okay. Next. Sob na natin yung ating ano, um, mga allowable strength under sa ASD, no? So, number one. Kilding. So, omega is equivalent to um, 1.67. So, ang ating PN dyan is 1341.18, then divided by 1.67. So, 803.1, okay, kilo newton. Next, number 2, sa so fracture. So, ito yung kanyang allowable strength. Ang PN natin is 1316.18 then divided by 2. So, 658.09. So, pang malakihan na talaga itong ano, structure kasi ano eh, malaki yung wide flange natin, 250. Okay? So, malaki yung ano niya, capacity niya or strength niya, di ba? So, ngayon, Makukuha na natin yung ating design strength and allowable strength. Ang design strength natin is 987.46 kN and yung ating allowable strength is equivalent to 658.09 kN. So ngayon, kunin naman natin yung ano, uh, PU and PA. Kasi di ba um, kailangan uh, i-compare natin. Kasi sabi niya check the adequacy eh. So, i-compare natin itong ano, uh, mga applied load natin. So, para naman sa PU since dead load and live load lang yan um, uh, this is what? 1.2 PDL plus 1.6 uh, 1.6 PLL Okay? So, sa, para naman sa PA, this is equivalent to PDL plus PLL. So, pinag-add mo lang yung dalawang loob. So, 1.2 of A plus 1.6 of B. So, A natin is 150. Then, ang B natin is 50. So, 260 kilo newton. Then, ang PA natin, so A plus B na lang. Okay? So, 200 kilo newton. So, ngayon, since ito yung mga napili natin, yung 987.46 is greater than sa PU. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, safe tayo rito. Or, adequate yung ating member para i-carry yung 150 kilo newton and 50 kilo newton dead load and live load. Okay? Then, yung ating ano naman, uh, allowable, is also greater than to PA. Ibig sabihin, under sa ASD, safe rin tayo. Okay? Kasi 200 lang itong i-carry niya. Pero ang kaya niyang i-carry, base on ano, um, base on fracture failure is 658.09 kilo newton. So, safe tayo sa yielding and fracture. Okay? Ayan. So, ito yung final answer natin. So, ganun lang kasimple. Ito yung sasabi ko sa inyo na analysis. Kaya nga, diba, ano, um, although ang ating um, structural uh, or yung ating still design subject is an is a structural design subject, 
uh, mas maganda kasi na ano, mag-analysis lang tayo sa steel design. So, ang gagawin lang kasi natin doon is, i-compare natin yung mga uh, factored effects, shear man yan, actual or moment, or yung ating mga applied load or service, uh, uh, or yung mga effects due to service loads or working loads sa ating mga ano strength. Okay? Kaya nga mas maganda, i-analyze lang natin yung member, kunin yung strength niya, then i-compare natin sa mga effects. Okay, mapa-factored man yan or mapa working or service loads. Then, katapos nun, malaman natin kung adequate ba or hindi yung member na yun. Kung hindi man, ayan. So, sir, paano po kung hindi adequate? So, ibig sabihin, kulang yung strength ng ating uh, member. So, anong gagawin natin nun pag ganun? So, ang gagawin natin nun is kailangan natin, ano, uh, pumili ng mas malaking, ano, uh, area. Siyempre, wag naman yung sobrang laki kasi magiging over-design na yun. Yung ano, yung enough na area na magki-carry doon sa ating ano, sa ating uh, applied load. Kasi ang tawag doon is minimum ano, minimum area. So ibig sabihin, hanggang doon lamang tayo sa area na 'yon or sa shape na 'yon or sa section na 'yon at hindi tayo pwedeng bumaba. Pero pwede tayong tumaas para mas lalong ano, uh, mas safe yung ating uh, member do over design na 'yan pag ganun nga. Kaya mas maganda pinipili natin yung enough area or yung section na Mer merong minimum area pero kaya niya mag-carry nung uh, mga loadings na i-apply sa kanya. Okay? So, hindi tayo pwedeng pumili lang ng puro malalaking area. Okay? Kasi kung, kuwari, bahay lang ang dinidesign mo tapos yung mga um, steel section na ginagamit mo is pang malaki ang building na. O, di ba? Overdesign masyado yun. And, ang magiging ano nun, uh, disadvantage is sobrang gastos. Di ba? So, ayaw natin ng ganun. Okay, kaya pinipili natin is puro minimum area. Okay, or minimum section. Ayan. So, this is our problem number 3 for the simple connection. Chapter 3, tension members for steel design. So, thank you for watching. Bye!